All right, so I've been seeing this comment a lot. Wasn't being, wasn't ignoring you. Just waiting for the right time to post. So here we go. Let's talk about how to hear the Lord's voice and what is the Lord's voice. So first off, we're going to talk about um, what do you need to do in order to hear the Lord's voice. All right. Number one, live holy. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. You have to live holy. You, can, you have to live in the spirit. You can't live in the flesh. It tells us in Galatians that the flesh wars against the spirit and that they cannot be combined. So if you are not in the spirit, then you're not going to be able to hear the voice of the Lord. How do I get in the spirit? You ask the Lord. You just ask and you wait. You ask and you wait and you open yourself up. You close your eyes and you open yourself to seeing the invisible. Because that's basically what the spirit is. The spirit is invisible. The flesh is visible. You are cutting off the fleshly sense of sight to see true sight. Number two, you need to repent. Before you ask the Lord, if this is your first time hearing from the Lord, repent, okay? Just make sure you're getting your body completely wiped out, okay? Psalms chapter 51, verses 9 through 10 says, Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. You have to let the Lord renew a right spirit within you so you can hear him. If you don't have a right spirit filled with the Lord, that is purified and washed clean by the blood of the lamb, you're not really going to be able to hear from the Lord like you want to. Now, how do I know it's God's voice? You can read all throughout the Bible. For example, 1 Corinthians verse uh, chapter 13, where the chapter on love, and it also in the Bible talks about how God is love. So you can re basically replace love with God and read what is God, basically, and all throughout the Bible. So, But mainly, um, is what you're hearing good? Is it hopeful? Is it honoring the Lord? Does it line up with scripture, what you're hearing from the Lord? Okay. The Lord is never going to give you something that honors the devil. And the devil is never going to give you something that honors the Lord. And that's how you know that you're hearing the right voice. Okay. And I don't even know if this is the last thing, but it's one of the most important things that when you ask, it's always the first thing you hear. Okay. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 says, before they call, I will answer. The Lord is always going to answer you first. Why? Number one, he already knows what you're going to say before you even say it and think before you think it. Number two, he's a loving father that is wants to be there for you as quickly as possible and provide your every need and everything for you. So he's not going to limit himself or distance himself when you really want to hear him. Hear from the Lord, repeat these steps, and then let me know in the comments by typing, I'm a child of God. All right, love you, bye.